Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you what we've been working on, or what I've been working on in Minecraft for the past week or so off and on. This is basically a Minecraft world that I created in uh, creative mode. So you have basically free reign over everything. What we're doing right now is walking along the street, going north towards the war, war museum. So you'll see we're just kind of walking up. It's just a really cool effect that you have as you kind of see everything come into focus. Right here we looked at a stop sign. As you can see, everything in Minecraft doesn't necessarily have an equivalent. So, for example, the stop sign, we used an apple on a on a board. Here you have an apple, um, a dandelion, and I think that green thing is just a green glob. But you really use your imagination and try to create something that you don't necessarily have... Um, available to you in the game and that's what's really that's what's really awesome about minecraft you have a lot of potential to create new things you know that wouldn't normally be available to you so we're going to cross the street here just be careful to watch for cars but i think it was okay so what you have here is actually where blues fest happens this is a paved area this is where the ticket stands or the the gates would be so you'd give your ticket you'd go in the stages would be down in the grassy area there so as we continue north you see we've put in all these trees or i've put in all these trees um, we've grown them flagpoles you know more sidewalks and this is the war museum this is something i put a lot of work into it's to scale i used google maps to really you know scale it out measurements things like that it is hard to create something in Minecraft when it's just one meter by one meter squared and you're really, you can't build a lot of really good angles in this game. So, you know, we've, or I've done what, what I could to create a, what I think is a really, um, good representation of what the War Museum is. So, we're gonna go back down south. And then we're going to cut across to the front of the, or I guess front is relative, we're going to go down to the south side of the museum. I've built these planter pots out of, they're actually, this is really neat, this is one of the things about the architecture in this game, they're actually upside down stairs. So I've used white wool on for this wall, it looks like, it's got an interesting texture. Here you'll see that we've used a, I think that was a, that was a clock, a Minecraft clock, and we've attached it to a board, and that is to represent a a parking meter. So, you know, here is the bus parking spot at the War Museum. So if you go into the Google Maps and have a look, you'll see some buses parked there. Here's some benches that we've created. What they are are just fence posts with stairs. So, you know, once again, you just use your imagination. I've seen quite a few people online create these things, so... You learn from them, you simulate what they do, and kind of come up with your own ideas as well. Here's a door. This is some sort of, I believe this is some sort of service door, some sort of delivery door here. This, I'm not sure, but it looks like more of a carport area instead of a big delivery door. So, this is a pretty big building. It goes down pretty far. And then, like I said, it's pretty much to scale it it ends about where this road kind of curves off like this now what we're going to do is we're going to use our magical powers we're going to fly into the air so you can get a little bit better view of what we've actually done here you can always open up google maps and have a look as well just look up uh, find Le Breton flats and just kind of see what we've done here so here's an, an aerial shot of the war museum The War Museum does have a grass roof. This isn't the full War Museum. It's actually probably... It is more than half, but the northern half is actually... There is no wall. We didn't actually create that because this is the side that students and the participants are going to use. So it just... There was a lot of work that we... Or that I put into it to create it. So I just... Just to save time, we didn't go and complete the north. The north wall. So it's actually just a big hole. If you actually go around to the north side and look in, it's just all open. There, I've just tossed my apple onto the ground. Um, misclicked one of my buttons. I'm just going to go look for it, actually. Yeah, there it is, hidden in the grass there. So we've picked up the apple. You don't see the apple right now, but it is in our hand. 
yeah so here's just a close-up of what we've created for for the signal or for the um, stoplights trees of course we're just gonna run into everything we can because that's how we that's how we do things we run into all the little lamp posts and things these green things here are actually just parking meters so one of the things I'm hoping that the students look at is is the idea of parking whether they want to do that um, I know that Lansdowne was a big there was a lot of issues with the parking at Lansdowne and how they they kind of went about that so I'm hoping the students are going to look into maybe you know some of the news articles around that see what other people thought um, things like that so this is what they are going to be developing here so this is a pretty big area I don't want to go too close to that mess down there because this was really difficult to create because of the angles and things um, so we're just gonna stick around here so this is what the students are gonna develop and this line that you see up in the uh, coming that we're coming up on here is actually just a line that I created in a program called world painter and this is how I actually created the world to scale I started with the world painter and then went into the actual minecraft game and actually developed a lot of the more uh, more the details but everything that is on the ground like the roads you know the intersections things like that that was all done in world painter and what I did was I actually I created the lines I created two lines one that came up to this road here and the one that you saw earlier that that beige oh we're up into the clouds now so you'll see here we're just gonna go duck below the cloud lines we don't want to go that high so what we did was we actually used a couple lines to create scale and yeah so this is the final product here that you see minecraft loads in chunks so it, it, you'll you'll notice that the loading is is slow oh, there we go hitting the cap locks button by accident So yeah, that's Minecraft. Um, that is Libretton Flats in Minecraft. So thanks for watching.